and welcome to my studio here in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. My name is Tiffany and I am on the Illustrated Faith creative team. One of the questions that we get asked time and time again is, how do we begin Bible journaling? As with any hobby, it can be really overwhelming to start. And let's face it, for our favorite hobby of Bible journaling, there's not really a how-to guide to get started. So that's why we want to introduce this five part video series on the basics of Bible journaling. This is for anyone. This is for anyone who may be exploring the hobby. Maybe you're new and you need some good ideas, or maybe you're a seasoned Bible journaler that's about to start their own ministry and get a bunch of women started in Bible journaling. So if you fit that wide spectrum, this series is definitely for you. So come join us. One of my favorite scriptures, and I'm just going to take out my Jesus Bible and read it, is from John chapter 15, verse 4, and it reads, Remain in me as I also remain in you. And what better way to remain in Christ than to be in the word, in the scriptures, in your Bibles, frequently, daily. And I have to admit, as a new Christian, when I started going to church, scripture was like a whole other language to me. I didn't understand it. And it was really embarrassing when I'd be in a Bible study group and I didn't know where to flip to in my Bible, even though I tabbed it. <laughs> so when I started Bible journaling, it was all about becoming familiar with the word, learning about the word, and then creatively expressing that in the margins of my Bible. One of my favorite things that Shauna Noel has said about Bible journaling is, you know, the Bible's translated in so many languages, nearly every language, right? But it's not translated in the creative language. And that's where we come into play. We get to take that scripture and creatively interpret it with whatever we have on hand stickers, paint, printables, cutouts, drawings, watercolors. And I think that's such a beautiful, beautiful image. And also, I love what Kelly Bangs has to say. She says that for her, Bible journaling is her love letter to God. And I think of it like that myself. So whatever reason you're starting, I'm sure that the number one question that you have on your mind is, what Bible should I use? So that's where this video comes into play. I'm gonna show you many different options so that you can choose the one that works for you. Come on in, let's get started. This is the Bible that I started in. This is a single column reflections bible you can see how loved it is <laughs> this was perfect when i began i really didn't need a large canvas the pages are a little bit thicker than your regular study bible and you can see i have plenty of room to journal to paint and to create in this next one is perhaps our most popular. It's the Illustrating Bible. You can find this at Dayspring or other retailers online. And everybody loves this because you get these very wide margins, about three inches of margin for you to create. And the pages are very thick. So if you want to paint or watercolor or any, you can bring any coloring medium into these pages and it will hold up. This is the interleaved Bible. This is most popular among everyone on the Illustrated Faith creative team because you get a full page to journal on between each page of scripture. So you can see we're in Psalms right now. There's scripture on one full page 
you get a full page for journaling and then another full page of scripture. If you love paper crafting like I do, this is my favorite to work in because look at all the space I have. I think it's so fun. The pages are not as thick as the illustrating Bible, but they're still substantial enough so that you can bring in your other mediums and other paper crafty goodies in this Bible. Here are some smaller options for you if you are afraid of the bigger canvas or you just want something for portability. This is a pocket Bible and I used this for Gratitude Documented 2020. There are no margins in this, so I am journaling right on top of the scripture. I'm adding my text here on pieces of deli paper and some ephemera. So if you are a little nervous about journaling over scripture, as some of us are, you may be, have to use a different sort of paper on top of it or a journaling card so that you can do your journaling. If you're not afraid, you can go right over these pages. They are thin like your standard Bible pages. Another fun option, this is called a vest pocket Bible. And this one, it only includes the New Testament and Psalms. Some of them only include the New Testament. So if your Bible journaling project does include the Old Testament, this may not be an option for you. But this was a project that I did 31 days of prayer for my husband. And this particular little Bible, it's although so sweet, there are no margins. The pages are thin. So I just use sticker paper to journal on top but it was a fun little project that didn't take up a ton of space. Here's a creative option. Maybe you have an old hymnal laying around or you found one at a thrift store or, or an antique store, but I love how these old pages make the perfect canvas for some fun Bible journaling. What I love to do is to tie in the scripture to the song in the hymnal and journal that way. But you can definitely get creative and add all sorts of mediums and paper crafting mediums in the margins of these hymnals. How fun is this? You do not have to start your Bible journaling in the Bible. You can always refer and journal and creatively express scripture in other books and other notebooks. So this is a 100 Days of Prayer Journal by Shauna Noel. And this is perfect for beginners. There's plenty of space for your prayers and for your journals and to get creative. And there's also a short devotional leading you into scriptures deeper. Another option is just using another notebook you may have on hand. This is my Archer and Olive craft notebook. The pages are really thick, so I can add coloring mediums into it. You can see that you can't really see the pages when I turn it. There's no shadowing of the other mediums that I'm using page to page. And you get tons of journaling space for your thoughts and for your prayers. So I hope one of those options really spoke to your heart and that you're ready to get started. Thanks for joining me on part one of our five part series. Stay tuned for the next video. And we'd love to invite you to join us over on our Facebook page. Just look up Illustrated Faith and on our Instagram at Illustrated Faith. Thanks for watching. Bye.